Hey guys, my name is Kevin and today I'm going to be uh, teaching you guys on how to get a little bit better at your first person shooter game. Today we're watching Modern Warfare 2, but all these tips you're going to be hearing today are basically COD related or first person shooter related, so you're going to be able to use these tips in Black Ops. So have no fear, these tips do have use. So the first thing I want to run over is gun selection. So you see I'm playing some Team Tactical on the map Terminal, and Terminal is a map where there's tons of long long uh, ranges of sight, long uh, lines of sight, but it is also a lot of cor uh, close quarters combat. So the reason why I picked the M4 is because at far range it's really manageable, and at close range it's got an extremely good uh, fire rate and amazing hip fire. And uh, speaking of hip fire, I got a nasty hip fire kill early in the game. I don't see a lot of people using the hip fire enough because when you see someone this is just what I've learned from experience. The first button you should press is the shoot button, whether that be, I think it's R1 on the PS3 or uh, RT or whatever it is on PC. That should be the first button. Aim down should be the second button you hit along with aiming. Because by hitting the hip fire, even if they're across the map, you can still hit them if they're in your crosshairs and get the extra shot on, on them. So by the time you're zoomed in, they're just like one or two shots away from dying. So. You see, I'm using the Claymores this game. The reason why I'm using Claymores and Scavenger is because it's a really effective setup. You won't be able to use it in Black Ops because the, uh, the Scavenger perk doesn't replenish the Claymores, but it's still a really, really good setup because I don't plan on dying. I'm planning on building up my kill streak in Team Deathmatch, along with getting kills, it's about not dying. So I don't plan on dying, and there are going to be, be, be people running over here. As you can see, most of my teams over here, so there's definitely, they're going to be flocking for the kills, and as you see later in the game, the other team gets a little bit too uh, frustrated, and pretty much all leaf. So my team, we're all in a party, it's team tactical, we're not going to lose, that's just like common sense, you're not really going to lose with four guys communicating and playing the game the way it's supposed to be. So you see my team, uh, throughout the game, there's been, we're giving each other call outs and telling what entrances they're coming from, because look, there's only three ways they can get to us. This way, Purex Annoyance is covering this door. Those two doors right there, and so am I. The bookstore, or the library, and the route by Burger Town. So if we're covering all those three areas, and see, we have someone right now who's clipping behind the uh, the luggage carts, and he's looking over right there through Burger Town, and we're uh, picking them off, and there's really nothing they can do about it. So now I'm calling in my uh, kill streak. My Harrier Strike and my last uh, kill streak today is the Pavlo, and it's really, really important when you're one or, one or two away from your kill streak. All you have to do is not die, and you'll be good. People will come. Your kill streaks will do some stuff for you, and that, as you can see, I get my Pavlo. Call that in, and now I think I get taken out, unfortunately, because I'm looking at the radar and I see the guy on the outside and I wasn't expecting him to come around the corner and unfortunately I get taken out so now you as you can see again my team has got map control dominated there's nothing they can do now as we switch spawns the only ways they can come through they're spawning over by ADOM the only ways they can come through is through the plane through the long hallway and through on Burger Town again so now this is an excellent spot that I use all the time and unfortunately, our team rushes up a little bit too far, and they start spawning outside. And they spawn an outside with my Pavlo, and they got a little bit frustrated. So they all resort to leaving, which kind of sucks, but luckily some more people leave. Now, I do end up with a really good score this game as a result of a really good Pavlo and playing tactically, which you can really do every game with a full party. So I think now I just did a little bit of fast-forwarding, because no one, uh, people join now. And the last tip I have for you guys is, for the love of God, switch to tactical layout. Because as you can see, they're going to start spawning out here, and I'm popping in and out of cover. If I wasn't on tactical layout, I would have been taken out right there with the guy shooting. I would have been taken out by one of those guys. But luckily for me, I played it well with the tactical layout, and was able to get a predator missile out of it. And unfortunately, yeah, that just happened. That guy just waltzed his way up the stairs, and... Uh, stab me in the back. But anyways, I'd like to use the last uh, 30 seconds of this commentary just to uh, tell you guys about my channel. I post commentaries like this and Black Ops and Halo Reach. Sometimes they're tactical, sometimes they're talking about, you know, random stuff. Sometimes I'm 
I'm starting a new series going over Halo Reach campaign co-op with my friend. It's it's really fun, and we had a lot of fun doing it. And I'm going to be posting those all this week. My channel is always just for positive. It's always just a positive place. I don't respond to anything negative. So if you like this commentary, then please check out my channel. Come subscribe and check out my videos. The link to it will be in the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like it, and I'll see you guys later.